Hello YouTubers, this is Toll of Nerds here with my very first video review. I figured I'd give it a go and I've decided to do my very first review on the Halo Mega Bloks Falcon. This was a set I've really been looking forward to since it was first announced a good while ago. And I got it for Christmas, luckily enough. First thing, we're going to look at the minifigures. The, this set comes with two minifigures, a uh, UNSC pilot minifigure, with, whose primary colours are silver, black, and with a uh, small bit of tan here and there. And um, uh, posability wise it's the same with pretty much every Halo Med Blocks figure that's ever been released. You have elbow articulation, shoulder articulation, um, hand articulation, uh, head articulation, uh, knee and hip, uh, waist, and so yeah. And then it's the same with the Spartan, who I believe is based off Noble 2 from Halo Reach, except without the robot arm. And again, it's a sim similar articulation. Knees, elbows, hands, waist, head, etc, etc. And uh, one of the things I liked about this set is that it came with one of the new assault rifles that were featured in Halo Reach. Uh, it's very nicely sculpted. Um, if well, I'm not too sure if the detail comes up, but it looks pretty close to the actual in-game weapon, um, mold-wise. Of course, couldn't get it accurately coloured, but that's not really a big deal. And secondary weapon you get is a pistol. Moving on, accessories wise, um, before we move on to the main thing, and the set features a plasma coil piece, well it's actually made up of three pieces, um, top, um, wait till I get out here, um, yellow glowy bit, and then of course the main bit. This is a really nice piece, especially for those who are maybe looking to feature something exploding in their movies or just make a nice sweet display piece in their displays. And uh, it also comes with a weapons crate. And well, it's capable of holding quite a few weapons, which is quite evident here. Yeah, that's nice. It's also got um, small wee handles for the minifigures to hold. So that's nice. And then, of course, <coughs> the set also comes with a landing pad. And it's made up of six um, flat panel pieces um, held together by a couple of bricks here and there. Um, uh, here's a really nice um, uh, part, uh, especially if you're to if you're looking to make say a small base or something to display your sets on, or stat motion or whatever. So um, it could be used if you have any sets, you know, like the Hornet or the God damn it, I forget what I forget the name of the one that was in Halo Wars. So, uh, but um. Yeah, um, of course it's too small for the Pelican to fit on, i maybe do a review of it later on. So, um, moving on, we come towards the main part of the set, the Falcon itself. <coughs> now, this took me um, about an hour, maybe, all together to put together on Christmas Day. So that was good enough, I really enjoyed it. <clears throat> and um, 
I was just amazed at how brilliant this set is, especially considering the quality of the first batch of Halo Mega Block sets that came out about a year or two ago. They weren't really the best quality, but to me this really shows you how far they've come quality-wise, and I mean, it is pretty accurate to the actual Falcon in the game for a set this size. Um, Movement-wise, um, these here bits ro rotate around, um, power spin, um, also a mini t a main turret um, swivels about on a point. Um, now I haven't tried this, but I believe you could take this off and place it underneath the pelican. I believe there's room in that set to do so. And um, then of course you have the two secondary turrets, um, which are on the sides. They swivel about. Um, oh, sorry about that. Um, yeah, they swivel about. Um, rotate up and down. Um, yeah. And then, of course, there, there's um, room for about, well, there's four seats available with um, pegs to plug in the Spartans. The only complaint they have about that is that when you remove the figures, the peg will sort of stand their back, which can be a bit annoying. Although that's my only minor problem. So um, there you go, I really like this set, I think it's pretty good, so um, if you're considering this here set I would recommend it, um, I was able to um, get it on Amazon for about £30 at the time, not too sure how much it costs in US or Canadian dollars or whatever, so um, there you go. Um, so I might do more reviews like this in the future, so um, thank you and goodbye.